Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, which apparently is turning into a Twitch news channel, seeing as that seems to be the only place that has non-political, non-other boring, annoying stuff going on that I don't want to cover. So here we are looking at Twitch again. The U.S. Army retreats from Twitch as recruitment drive backfires. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Army and Navy have their professional esports teams they sponsor, etc. And, well, they're backing off from that because of people coming into their chats on Twitch and asking some hot-button issue questions and causing it to become an issue. The U.S. Army has retreated from Twitch after a series of guerrilla actions by critics rendered its military recruitment drive untenable and potentially unlawful. See, they go the unlawful aspect because, oh, my first speech. I, well, that just sounded dumb. Oh, uh, my First Amendment speech rights. But these same people, these journalists, don't get mad when... Twitch or Twitter or Facebook cancels someone else. But because the U.S. Army's platform on Twitch banned people in the chat, they're saying it may be against constitutional rights. Man, it's interesting how constitutional rights only matter in certain aspects. Both the U.S. Army and Navy have been active since 2019 on the video game streaming site where the official esports teams share footage of them playing competitive games such as Rainbow Six, Counter-Strike to help with making connections between prospects and recruiters, according to Leaked Social Media Guide. In recent weeks, their presence on the platform had drawn significant criticism, led by Twitch user Jordan Uhl. Waves of viewers began following the accounts, waiting 24 hours to evade the spam filters, and then asking soldiers and sailors to come in and everything from Eddie Gallagher, a Navy SEAL charged with uh, certain crimes, to my lay massacre when soldiers did something not very good in South Vietnam to civilians. The Army's Twitch channel banned the offending users, prompting some lawyers to point out that they may have had their First Amendment rights violated. The government can't try to engineer the conversation of the public by saying only people who agree with us can respond. Yeah, but if that's the case for the government and, well, on these platforms, then neither can the platforms themselves because then they become publishers, they're breaking Section 230, etc. Katie Fallow, a lawyer at the Knight First Amendment Institute, said on Monday, First Amendment means the government can't kick someone out or preclude them based on their viewpoint. At the time... The channels came under fire from Twitch for allegedly running fake giveaways and entice users to click through the recruitment pages. Well, that's not a good look. When users clicked the links, which told them they could win an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller, they arrived on a recruitment form with no extra information about the prize draw. The Army said giveaways were enabled for some users, but was nevertheless asked by Twitch to remove the links. On Wednesday, New York Congresswoman... Oh, God. AOC joined the opposition voices filing a draft amendment to a bill that would prevent the military from using funds to maintain a presence on Twitch or any video game, esports, or live streaming platform. The bill which advocates, uh, the bill which allocates spending for the U.S. government may not pass with the amendment tact, but it seems to have been the final straw for the military esports team. Now, should they be recruiting uh, on these platforms? I don't know. They go into schools. They go elsewhere. It's probably not a good idea. However, they also do sponsor and give a lot of money to different programs in order to be able to do so. So if you're removing government spending because it's associated with the military and the army, you might be hindering and hurting other things you're not even thinking of. On Wednesday evening, an Army spokesperson confirmed the decision first reported by eSports expert Rod Breslau to stop streaming on Twitch. The team has paused streaming to review internal policies, procedures, as well as all platform-specific policies to ensure that participating in the space 
are clear before streaming resumes, spokesperson said. In June, the British Army awarded a 121,000 contract to the company Aozat to recruit through platforms including Twitch. Contract calls on Aozat to run four events over the next year involving army gamers or having army messaging at his key competitions and by using key influencers from the urban music scene to deliver messages about army confidence. Now, me personally, I don't have an issue with this. This allows people to see all their options, to know what's going on. However, it seems to be certain demographics that are the only ones who need to go into service in order to go through college, etc. Is that problematic? Is that an issue? Eh, potentially, but we're not a conscription military. You're not forced to do it. Now you're allowed to make the personal choice of going into that situation to being contracted with them and having to, you know, serve based on your choice. If we were conscription and forced to assistance, then you might argue a little bit, but at least you still have the choice. Do I think these companies should allow uh, recruitment and allow them to do it. Well, they've ran TV ads for years. You see some people complaining about it, but what, what do you do when TV is no longer the core area of the people you're trying to get on board? You go to the platforms they're on. Do I see an issue with it? Potentially. But... It's not going to stop them from recruiting. They are going to do it regardless. And, you know, if if they're benefiting programs and other things by giving money to do so, I don't know if that's a massive issue. Uh, the Guardian article continues to go on about, you know, the military and all that jazz and, you know, whatever. Um, they also are begging for money right here. They need your support. It only takes $1. We cannot make enough money by you guys clicking our website. So we need you to help us because of, oh, hold on. The Guardian has been significantly impacted by the pandemic, like many other news organizations. Yeah, I'm sure. You're a news organization. You're essential. You're fine. Stop it. We can carry on our essential work. Give us a dollar. Ugh. No. Um, do I appreciate you writing articles that I can use to make content out of? Sure. However, I'm not going to support you. And just like you don't want the military on Twitch, which is fine. You can't get mad at them wanting to do it because it's possible. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, if you have any ideas or things that you'd like covered, uh, comment them down below. If you have any anything else that you think... Uh, we could be doing over here, let me know. I do appreciate uh, criticism and, well, finding out what I can get better at. Again, please throw a like on the video, share it out there, and comment because it does help with the algorithm. I hope to see you guys again soon, and hopefully I'll get to do some Ghost of Tsushima playthrough for you guys tonight. If not, I definitely will be putting together a review of the game as I have been uh catching footage and other things to show off on the game. Thanks again, guys. Hope you have a great day.